What's going on you guys? This is Sub-Zero Classified here giving you another tutorial video on how to do the Ascendant Challenge for this week, uh, January 7th, 2020. Um, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Dreaming City and go ahead and pick up your bounty from Petra and you'll want to go to the fast travel location here and the portal is located in the Bay of Drowned Wishes there's a uh, a blocked off section um, before you get to the boss uh, the portal is to your right you will see it, it's up in the air um, but this uh, <coughs> this challenge is relatively simple um, you need to be making your way down to that platform. Um, once you're down there, you'll be killing uh, a couple of powerful hog lizards, and that's pretty much it. Um, so a good starting point is to go ahead and find Toland, and just follow Toland uh, down to the challenge. Um, just like last week, uh, if you're doing it solo, anytime you're doing an Ascendant Challenge solo, it is definitely better to uh, take it slow rather than be quick. Um, <clears throat> and even though it is just platforming down to that arena, uh, it is relatively easy to fall or to fall from too far. Um, so you want to just be careful on your jumps um, but make your way down here uh, normally a good setup would be anything you know that can take care of both of these wizards really quick uh, blade barrage, nova bomb um, whatever you're comfortable using uh, but anyway um, this, when you load into this challenge, it will always be the same. It's not like last week's challenge where it's random, where it puts you. Um, that's like, what I just did was one of the hardest jumps, and you see that I almost died. That statue will make you slide, so be careful on that. Um, there are these rocks in here too that rotate so you're gonna want to be careful on your platforming it's so like I said if you're doing it solo it is better to uh, take your time rather than try and speed through it I, I know that these uh, challenges do have time trial triumphs uh, related to them but it, you might want to practice doing them first before you try to do a speed run to get your time trial done for the triumph. Um, in any event, once I get down here, I will show you exactly what you need to do. It's a very easy challenge this week. Weapon set. Um, uh, you could really use anything you want. I normally go into these challenges with a shotgun anyway, with a boss spec on it. Um, a lot of challenges require you to kill things relatively quickly, and there's also challenges that require you to destroy blights really quickly. So it's a pretty good bet to run into these challenges with maybe a shotgun or a fusion rifle. Um, primary, whatever you want to use, heavy, uh, I would recommend whatever you're comfortable with, sometimes it's better to run into these things with a sword, but once you're here, you'll see that they will spawn in once you've, uh, reached this part. Okay, I guess you have to interact with Tom first for them to spawn in, which is silly, but whatever. So we did spawn in. Now 
I just have to find out what they really are. So, you know, just throw another bomb on what I want to do. The other one, the axiom that should take care of it. So, in the event that it doesn't, that's okay. Let's take down that next. Lizard as quickly as you can. And then we're done. That's it. So that is the guide for doing it so well for this week. This has been Sub-Zero Classified Gaming, the above top secret. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, and turn the notification bell on for more upcoming Destiny 2 videos. Thanks guys.